Hello and welcome in everyone. Here we are back from Modern Action. I'm really sorry about the audio. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to get it fixed. I spent like four hours this evening trying to get it fixed. Haven't been able to. Um, but I really need to record these video, this video. So um, unfortunately, we are going to have one video with kind of less quality again. But I'm trying to get it fixed. Um, hopefully, I'll have it fixed soon. But yeah. So today we are playing this Gruel Aggro deck for our Patreon, Chris. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, there are some concerns, such as the Islets and the Peatlands. Other than that, the main board is one Assault Strobe, some Bolts, Vexing Devils, Experiment 1, collect, uh, Pelt Collector, a Fling, or two Flings, Avatar the Resolute, Targus Commands, Bone Crush Giant, Light at the Stage, Steely Champion, Yorvo, and some Galtas. Delta, of course, uh, cheaper based on our power of our creatures. Also, really fun card to fling at our opponent. Sideboard, three Veils, three Scavenging Ooze, three Cinder Vines, two Heroic Interventions, and four Blood Moons. Uh, so, originally, Chris wasn't sure whether to play Destructor Revelry or Cinder Vines. I think Cinder Vines is a little bit better because it's good against cards like, excuse me, or decks like Storm. So, that's uh, why we're playing Cinder Vines over Destructive Revelry. Um, other than that, mana base is pretty straightforward. We got two Bloodstained Myers, two Copperland Gorges, two Fire Islets, three Forests, three Nurturing Peatlands, four Stomping Grounds, and four Wooded Foothills. So, um, yeah, we're going to hop into some matches here. Hopefully this goes well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And, yeah, let's hop into round one. Alrighty, round one. I think we mulligan because of the fiery eyelet. This hand's. I think we keep it, but I think this hand's actually kind of bad. I'm going to reveal Yorion. Spectacle. Yeah. I mean, that was all right. That's pretty fucking annoying. Normally I'd want to get the value of stomping, but... I guess we could have stomped and then staged. Yeah, but I don't like that, because we got a lot of cards in our deck that we might not be able to cast because of that. Yeah, it's really tough to say. Kai's Gal, I think, is a concession here. Yep. Alright. So we can still want Blood Moons. Um, I think that's honestly the big one. Um, I think we can cut a Salt... Actually... Salt Stroke might be okay. Let's cut a Targus Command... I guess let's cut Yorvold. Let's cut one of our three triple greens. In order to cast any of our triple greens, we have to fetch out all three forests. Um. 
I think this deck's a fun idea, but I think there are definitely some changes that could be made to make it better. I like Steel Leaf, and I like all those cards, but I think Triple Green playing Blood Moon is a little too too much to ask for when we're playing that many non-forests. Hmm. We got a mulligan. We don't have anything. To, we're not doing anything in this game. Right, I'll keep this one. I think bolt away. This is another really good hand here. It's a shame. I don't know. Right, well, now I'm glad we didn't keep Blood Moon. I'm going to get a black. White. Interesting. Unfortunately, Avatar doesn't grow this now. Oh. I kind of missed that. Yeah, it comes into play with uh, the counter on. That's right. No, technically we have lethal right now in hand. Between our board and hand. That's incredibly annoying, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm really tired of Kai's Guile. Well, thankfully, Helix doesn't kill our Pelt Collector anymore. Bro, if you get another college guy, I'll... to ferry, fuck me. Yep, bounce pelt collector. We know the fucking drill. Hmm. Is it too soon to just concede and like try to move on with my life? Is it, is it too premature to do that? I feel like it's too premature to do that. One, two. Cool. Then visit me? Bring the light me? Your supreme verdicting? 
Really? I'll concede to that. Well, unfortunately, Niv is it. I mean, that's not a deck we're going to beat. They, but plus, they had just an insane double Kyle's guy on a row. <clears throat> they gained eight life this match and removed two of our threats. Uh, most of the progressions we would have won at least this game. All right, on the play here. This time they're a Luris deck. I think I'd keep this if this was another red green land, so we could go turn to devil stage. No, no, we'll keep this hand though. Not my favorite, but hopefully it'll do. Beautiful. Spectacle. Yeah, not having a mountain there is uncomfortable. Fucking yikes. That's a big yikes for me, dog. Mm, we take four less damage because of that, I guess, but... Yikes, that's a fucking issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, ugh, Jesus, man. It's like such a such a bad matchup here. Okay, so scavenging is. Let's take these out for her open intervention, I guess. Hexproof and indestructible is hard for our opponent to get around. Mulligan, my hand's pretty bad. Okay, this hand's fine, I guess. Um... Neither of these cards are actually good, but we'll keep this hand. 
Yeah, this feels pretty. It's going to be a painful start to this game. I mean, I will admit, I don't know what else. Like, there's no other real sequence we could do here that's all that great. Initial and experiment once is the one we'd rather get killed. Okay, they're just leading on a creature. No blocks. Interesting. We're off to a good start, but we're going to be pretty easily behind there. No block. It's not worth the pretty obvious blowout we're going to get. Mm-hmm. Well, next turn we get to likely Bolt Dread Horde. As we can't auto pass, we gotta protect that fetch line is a problem. Seriously? Alright, I mean, I guess if they go to three, they're going to let us win. Alright, um, maybe we keep fling in as a removal spell? No, I don't like that very much. Bolting and then getting, uh, our bolt. I mean, it's a pretty good hand here. So I'm wrong, I don't think it's the best hand, but I think it's a hand, all right. We could absolutely just get blown away, though, with their start, because their um, two creatures is less scary for this turn, more scary for next turn. Hmm. Light up after the fact. That's pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. Just fear and growth. Okay. Try another card. We draw a card. It's a peatland. I'm going for a forest here. I'm going to slam Avatar the Resolute. No attacks this turn. <clears throat> mm hmm.
so let's see. We're going to take at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I do have to cast another spell in order to keep their Lumamancer alive. Which I mean they do easily. Interesting. So we take 10 to 7. And hope a 5 4 somehow gets us there. And we're just dead to like 90% of their deck. Like any burn spell here kills us. They're playing Luris. They're going to get back to Bobble. <clears throat> yep. Well, that is certainly slightly problematic. I mean, if they have another spell, we're dead, right? Yeah, it didn't matter. Just literally dead to mutagenic growth. Alright, on the play again here for round three. Mulliganing because we got no lamps. Ay, 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 ay. I really, yeah, these these eyelets are just not good. These, yeah, these, these horizon lands are really, really bad. We gotta find some other type of draw. I'll keep this. Doing that because we can't actually. If we keep the red land, we can't actually cast the green creature with what we have. Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape here.
Nope. Yeah, this is a big problem. Big, 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 big problem. Um, yeah, this is Bolton. Really? Okay. I mean, <clears throat> it tells me they're going to Archimedes Charmer or they have an answer to it, which, eh, take it or leave it, neither are good. I feel like they're just a uh, memorable breach deck. I guess they're probably the Kiki G decks. The mana base they're playing isn't the normal breach mana base that we've seen. I think it's the Kiki Jiki mana base we're used to seeing. Nope, they are all draw Emerald Breach, okay. Alright, I mean I feel like they got us here. Let me just die. Okay, so Bell seems good here. You need to try like that. We'll cut another vexing devil for a scavenging ooze. I think scavenging is at least fighting their graveyard spells or their snapcaster stuff is is decent. Um, getting their mana base a little different than we sing, so we don't quite know. It could be the regular stuff. It could be something different. Really hard to tell. Well. We'll see. Yep, playing first. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, this hand's not as bad. It could be pretty good if we draw either a third land. That was, huh? That was weird. I shouldn't play the land, but Yeah, that was a thing.
bottom. I go to three. That was an interesting choice. We kind of got handed one because they missed their first turn of the game, but still. I don't know. Let's run it back. Um, I mean, if we draw land three, this hand's good, right? Like, Mm -hmm. Let's pass. Okay, draw two cards, discard two cards, and kill my avatar. Sure. Play my second avatar. Yep. Oh, wow, I was going to say, Bolt would be really good here. Do we just win? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of my bad. I should have waited until after blocks to cast a Tarkus command. No, 
Jump block. There's a line of thought here that we could just not play anything out here and play around them having breach shift or yeah, not breach shift, breach emerald, but I mean, we're not really going to be playing the game here from Oh, I fucked up. Yep, I fucked up. Uh, two, interesting. Yeah, I shouldn't. I, I, I messed up by. Yeah. Okay, well, we got the win on the next round. Alrighty, on the play for the fourth round. So this hand has one big problem that is that we have no turn one plays. And we have to bolt on turn two to light the stage on turn two. Yeah, that seems all way too bad. This hand notably is also bad. We have what's going to amount to three lands, a 12-12, and a 4-3 that dies on turn one. Mm-hmm. So, definitely Peatland's real bad in such a man-intensive deck. Um, because there's not a green-red one. If there was a green-red horizon land, then that would be perfect. But there's not, so these are not. I definitely think the mana base should be more along the lines of like four copper lines, four like filter lands, and we shouldn't be playing Blood Moon. I don't think, I don't think we're supposed to be Blood Moon. After this, I'll show. After this league, I'll show the my idea for what the mana base probably should be. We'll go from there. We're mulliganing again. Uh, I mean, we gotta go to five, right? Like we, or we gotta go to four. I don't think we actually can. Awkwardly enough, I think the cards are gonna keep her. I'm gonna keep these five. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't really like this play. I think this play is kind of loose. But we're going to do it anyway. Assuming we get a resolve our fetch, because our opponent's taking their time with the decisions here. Anytime now. No? Okay. Just 
Sorry guys, I don't know why our phone's taking so long here. Phone decided to fetch. That's fine. In we just can't win this matchup, right? Like, we just don't have a way of beating him. I guess... I guess we get lucky enough with scavenging as we might have some semblance of a shot. Ardent Plea. Huh. We're not casting this yet. I guess we'll leave a fling in. I mean, in theory, Assault Stroke Double Striking could do enough damage to get us into a winnable position somehow, but I think it's Scavenging Ooze or Bust here. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't feel good at all. <clears throat> this matchup just feels unwinnable. Alrighty. On the play again. We can't cast you, but maybe we can get there. I don't know. I just think this match is just so unwinnable. And I also want to just, don't want to just mulligan to like four to find a scavenging ooze. Because that could just be all too slow. Like, we reasonably only get to eat one card before they get to go off. Smart of our opponent, we're going to get like maybe one hit from the Vexing Devil if we're lucky.
Yeah, I was going to do something different, but then I didn't do it, and I probably should have. All right, let's make them have it next turn. Which I mean, they're, they're gonna have it, like obviously. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god, they didn't have it. Holy shit. Okay, on to the final round. Alright, game three. Here we go. Holy shit. Alright, well... <laughs> uh, it's a turn three win. I mean, technically it's turn four because we killed them on turn four, but they can see that on turn three. Close enough. That feels good. Not gonna lie. It's a very good feeling win there. All right, I'm not going to lie, hands down, one of our easiest mulligans we've ever had. Um, Possibly the second easiest mulligan we've ever had. 20 lands. Yeah. Okay. Should have kept the one lander with uh, scavenging, isn't it? Hey, hey! Maybe we're uh, maybe we're actually gonna draw some good stuff after all. I mean, they kept the seven card hand. There's no way they don't have everything they need to go off here. Eleven. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 pretty sure they got us next turn without question, but we put up a hell of a fight. That's that's the that's the real story here. Alrighty, well, we tried. Alright, it's mulligan time. We gotta have a one drop. Oh, fuck. Something I hate about aggro decks is that you gotta be aggressive. Ooh, that was a good draw, though. If we can curve out after Mulligan to five, that'll be really good for us.
That getting countered is really bad for us, but I mean, ooh, they missed a land drop. That's pretty good for us, I'm not going to lie. Yep. They stumbled and we can't do anything about it. We have pretty easily lost this game here, even though they're missing land drops. Okay, so we want to Veil of Summers. Probably scavenging users as well. Yeah. The reason I can see it there is because we had nothing going on. They were going to just block an opt and we were dead. So, uh, yeah. If you don't like the concession, I apologize, but there was nothing else we could do. Honestly, this deck's been pretty fun. I've enjoyed it, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's good. I think that uh, some of the choices that were made are just not optimal. I think saying it's not good is disingenuous. I don't, I don't think that's that's fair of me to say. Yeah, I guess I should have. I don't think we're gonna have a second red spell to play this turn. Easy push. Yeah. No, right, attack number three. Pelty C. Goose will grow the first pelt collector. No. Now their mana problems are fixed for life. Darn, I was one off.
I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I was one point of damage off there. Let's go. Eat snap. Whenever because you control and his battlefield or dies. Wait, what? That's still lethal. That was that was weird. Yeah, that was that was really weird. Is that a bug or am I am I misunderstanding how this works? Hmm. Snap keep right here. Best hand we've had all night. I mean, we put up a good fight, but... Okay. That's pretty bad. Easiest. What? Yeah, we lose this this turn, unfortunately, which really sucks, but... Yeah. I go to the row right now. Great, I think. Bounce. Yeah. Yep. I think we're we're pretty dead now. Um We've done nothing, our opponents draw nothing but gas, so.
fucking hate magic. Uh, let's kill this little bitch at least. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm... Damn it. Yeah. Alright, that lost... That, that definitely lost the game there. Missing... Fucking up and skipping through the rest of our turn. Oh, boy, that was annoying. I think we're done. Alrighty. Yeah, we, we put up a good fight there. Um, I mean, we did all right. I don't think we did terribly there. Um, whoop. All right. So first things first. That. What is it? What's that? Was it? It was double masters. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, fuck. And I said I wanted a mountain, so here's a mountain. Other than that, I think the next big change is it being the sideboard for me. Cut the Blood Moons. We can't afford them in this version. Play Wildfires. Um, Broken Revenge is fine. I think I'd do something better than scavenging is though. Do uh it's a little better against graveyard decks. Um I'd probably try to replace these two. I know that this is cool, like cool sweet little nifty combos, but um, hmm. Can't even any like good red green draw. Oh, actually, this might not be a terrible Bloodbraid deck either, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I could see... Go up to 21 lands. Yeah, I think, I think like, this might be a bit of an improvement. I don't know. It's tough to say, um... The deck was fun, though. I, I don't mind aggro decks that much. I'm not very good with them, but this was fun. 
Um, we made most of our matches look closer than I think they really were. Uh, um, it was nice to get a win, though. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Chris, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, sorry guys about the sound quality. I'm trying to get it fixed. And hopefully I'll fix it as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see your video on the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video.